So the Tiny House Project came about because we wanted to give our students hands-on, real-world experience in things like engineering, architecture, and construction. And we wanted it to be meaningful. We wanted the house to go to people who really needed it. So that's why we partnered with the folks at ES Del Campo, who work directly with farm workers right here in Contra Costa County, so the house could go to somebody who really needed it. This was just a natural fit for Carondelet. Our charism from the Sisters of St. Joseph of caring for the dear neighbor without distinction, coupled with our real desire for our students to have real world experience and have some hands-on opportunity to create and to push some limits. I've never had a chance to take the math skills that I love so much and all of my knowledge about physics and do something with it and actually create good with the things that I've been taught for so long. I think that it's important to create opportunities like these for young women because we grow up with certain ideas of what careers are majority male and then what careers are majority female. Oftentimes we're not provided with chances to work hands-on and do traditionally male things like construction and engineering. There was quite a few of them that thought we were building models or some sort of birdhouse size house and reminding them that we were building someone's actual home kept surprising them but it added so much authenticity to the project. Every step of the way, every decision we made was targeted towards making sure that the people who were going to get the house were the people who were going to benefit from it the most. We had to start from scratch from the very beginning. We had to find space on campus. We had to get tools, we had to get support, we had to get partnerships, funding. But it was well, well worth the challenge of making this project come to life on campus. This is an ambitious project and building a tiny house is a lot of hard work, especially with students and teachers who didn't have a lot of experience in this. So we knew that we really had to give the students a lot of input on how everything would turn out. They got to design, engineer, build a home from the ground up, and they did everything. We really tried to cone in to the needs of what they would need in their job at day to day and what they need culturally, and we coordinated with Pijas del Campo to make those decisions for design. This project was really unique because we are the first all-girls high school to build a tiny house and we're definitely the first group of high school students crazy enough to decide to build our tiny house out of steel. We chose steel because we really focus on making a home sustainable and because steel is the most recyclable material in the world, we use that and we also really wanted to make it lightweight and stronger which is a better alternative than wood. Cutting steel creates this horrible screeching noise and a lot of sparks. It was a very, very messy process. The first time that we framed the walls with steel, we actually used the wrong type of steel and we had to take down all of the walls and build them all back up again. Having to go tell the students that we built in the wrong steel was a very tangible reminder that we are there to learn alongside them. In the end, framing was really fun. I loved that step because it felt like you were finally building the house. There were so many different little projects going on at once. There was siding while there was piping, while there was electrical. So teamwork was definitely a really prime factor and we had so much fun doing this. The fact that I was crawling on the joists of the roof and putting all that time and hard work and energy into installing such a pivotal part of the tiny house was just such a gratifying experience. Basically stood 10 feet high in the air on top of the scaffolding. I was a little intimidated, but I embraced my fears and I became an effective engineer. And I think that was an amazing experience that I will never forget. The roof ended up becoming my favorite place in the whole house, mostly because it was a place where I could just relax all of my anxieties of the day. The hardest thing was about plumbing was getting the measurements under the house because it was two feet above the ground and that we had to crawl under there and sit upside down. Throughout the project we uh, would bring them food and lunch and sugar on build days. We also used buttons to motivate them and say hey you did such a great job you earned this woman of steel button. We scribbled all over the steel frames and cheating so if anybody were to open the walls they would have a fun surprise. We just became more and more passionate about who we're giving this to, the cause, and 
how we really want to perfect it and make it the best that we possibly can. Every day when you came to school, it was very inspiring knowing that what you were doing that day was not just going for a grade, but it was actually going to help someone's life and make our community a better place. I love how spacious the house feels. The walls are white, which totally adds to it, and the windows are absolutely beautiful, especially considering the house is sitting on Frog Hollow Farm with a beautiful view of Mount Diablo. When the students decided to do a slope route from the back of the house to the front of the house, I wasn't all that excited. But then after we built it, and there was so much room in the loft, even for a big guy like me to lie down in there, I thought it was awesome. I was part of the group that built the loft, and I love it so much. Just to know that I made something, or we made something, that people can actually stand on and people will actually sleep on is incredible. The bathroom was really neat, just because most tiny homes don't have a full-size bathroom, or at least like a shower and a full-size toilet like we do. Obviously, the floor is the best part. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> The house turned out better than I could have ever imagined, and I know that this project deeply changed my life, and I'm so proud that collectively we built something that's gonna change the lives of so many other people. The confidence that they started with and ended with, the difference was just unbelievable. I'd never really put my skills to something that was solid and practical. And so being able to build this house and being able to have this experience definitely changed my mindset on what I'm able to do as an individual person and the impact I'm able to have. I've learned that I can do all of these things, like putting siding on a house. It really taught me to just try things, even though it seems so random or so out of the ordinary and something I would never do. But then as time went on, I ended up really, really loving it. We tend to think that construction and structural management and engineering are really not that attainable and they're very male dominated. And I think, at least for me, it really taught me that if I wanna get involved in a field, there's really nothing holding me back except myself and my own capabilities. I think it just showed everyone in the class how capable we are and how we can achieve so much if we just put our minds to it. This project was really, really challenging. There were a lot of moments when I thought, we're not gonna make it, but we worked really hard, and it proved that if you work hard and your heart's in the right place, then you can do just about anything. Watching them really get engaged, remove the barriers, have to be brave, and walking away and being able to look back and smile and say, hey, we did that, and see the immediate impact they made on their community, that is hands down my favorite thing about the Tiny House Project. It's really hard to be new at something, and they embraced it, and we made mistakes along the way, and we overcame them, and delivered an absolutely beautiful home to people in our community. So I'm proud of the girls, and I'm proud of us. I was really honored to be a part of this project. Just knowing that I can have an impact and like my skills will come to use and they can be used in projects that can create so much good in the world, that brings me a lot of hope and a lot of confidence.